Hi everyone, this video is all about making black and white videos. Uh, the short version is you select your clip, go to Lumetri Color and pick Monochrome from the Creative Look panel. But this video goes into a little bit more detail, mainly around uh, sequences and kind of getting multiple sequences going in our learning experience. So uh, hang around for that as well. All right, let's jump in. Let's make some black and white video. Okay, what I want to do first is let's go back to our project window. So remember this little arrow here and go back to project. What I'm looking for is you might have to close them all up, tidy it up a little bit. I want to find our footage. Okay, I'm going to use a little arrow to get into it. I'm going to open CCAM and I'm going to go down to something called CO19. Okay, that's why I like this view for looking for file names. Okay, and what we're going to do is right click it and we're going to go to new sequence from clip. Okay, it's given it the same name as our movie. Yours are going to be .mp4s because I've reformatted them to make them a little smaller for the exercise files, but it should have the same name. Okay, and we're going to call this one experiments. Experiments. That's close enough. <laughs> okay, and now it's in the wrong folder. Remember how to get it back to the root? Click, hold, vaguely drag it around here, and it should disappear from that list. Scroll up, and there it is down here. Okay, experiments, that does it for me. Cool, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna experiment with black and white, plus a few other effects in the next couple of videos. And I wanna get used to, um, you, to get used to toggling between these two timelines. You now have a project with more than one sequence. We're gonna keep it pretty light for this course, but I wanna show you a file, wait there. Okay, so this is a file I just grabbed out of my archive because it looked impressive. Look how many, uh, you see all these folders here? So this is uh, uh, one uh, Premiere Pro project that has 92 different separate sequences in it. So you can see it's open number three. There's a, a video that I've made. Okay, it's the third video in this series. It is a 4K version. Okay, but I also made a version that's not 4K. I made a version that gives away some free stuff at the end. So there's a different version of it. Okay, and they're all separated into their own little bins. Okay, there's a 4K and an HD version, and that goes on forever. Okay, so you can get projects that are huge in terms of the amount of sequences they have. Okay, and you can see all mine are open over here, all the different timelines. All my media is missing at the moment because I didn't want to download and link all that up because it takes forever. But um, just know that we've got two new projects now, right? We've got our uh, wedding one and our new experiments, and we're going to toggle between them, but you might end up with 10, 5, or me, 100 and, well, was it 92? All right, so I've got now got two projects open at the same time, which is real confusing. We looked at this earlier. I'm going to go to close the current project. And by doing that, you need to be on the project you want to close, not this one. Okay, I want to close this one. This is just an example for you. Um, you don't have this file, so you can't play along, but I'm just going to show you. I close this project, and this is going to disappear all the sequences that are all open in a second. I'll speed it up, and I'll see you again in a sec. All right, so we're back, we're in experiments, and um, practice toggling between these two. And what we're gonna do with this one here is we're going to apply the black and white look. Okay, so with it selected here, make sure Lumetri Color's open. Remember, window, Lumetri Color. And where it says creative, click on that, go to look. You probably discovered these already. Uh, let's go to noir. Okay, so either of these three, 1965, I quite liked. Um, but you can, remember, click through them click on them, decide. Now the thing is with black and white, there's different kinds of black and white. There's another one in here called monochrome. Where are you? Uh, there's these group, okay, different. They have these things like Kodak and Fuji, just to kind of represent old style, actual physical film. Okay, remember, you might not remember, but there were film that went into cameras, okay, and there were, Kodak had their version, okay, and Fuji had their version of what black and white should look like, and they're just different. And it tries to mimic it here digitally. Anyway, pick your um, black and white. What you can do though, is once you've picked that look, you might go back down to basic correction and start adjusting it in here, okay? Uh, things like the blacks and whites and shadows. And again, stay at the bottom, okay? And just kind of work through and decide what, what works for you in this film, okay? To get it how you want it to be. And what I think is quite cool when you are doing black and white is to look under creative. I click these words just to close them up because it gets, does get confusing. Okay, so under close down basic correction, open up creative, and the faded film effect is pretty cool. Okay, it's just kind of built into there. So 
Um, you can decide on whether that works for you. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's add some noise in the next video. That's kind of hopefully finish off our lovely black and white look. And lastly, before we go, let's just practice toggling between these two, closing that one down. You can close both of them down. They're still here in my project window, so I can open up experiments and wedding if I need to. I can close down wedding, okay, but still have experiments open. We're just getting used to having multiple sequence in a Premiere Pro project. One project, potentially lots of sequences. In this case, there might be uh, a small version and a long version, okay, like a 36, <laughs> A 30 second version that's kind of more of a promo one and then a real long version that's what we had for that's what i had for my wedding just a short one that everyone got to see and was quite cool and quirky and didn't last very long and then there was the one that only me mum and nana sit down and watched where it's, <laughs> it's the really wrong way, and my wife uh sat down and watched so um in this case you might just have two sequences all right let's get into the next video we'll look at film grain all right that's it for this video if you enjoyed it give the video a like Consider subscribing to the channel here, and also if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.